Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles and welcome to another micro struggle. Today we are talking about the envelope theorem. The envelope theorem is something that we are going to use all the time in optimization, both in micro and macro. But today we are talking about it from the micro perspective. The way we are going to talk about the envelope theorem today is we are first going to talk about it conceptually and graphically. Then we will give the problem a little more structure and do a more formal mathematical definition. And then we're going to use the expenditure minimization problem as an example using Hixian demand to illustrate how the envelope theorem works. Timestamps are below if you would like to jump around, but let's go ahead and get started with the conceptual and graphical definition of the envelope. Here is a basic maximization problem that you might encounter. So we're maxing, we've got a choice variable X. We also have a parameter of the problem theta. So if you're thinking back to maybe a lifetime utility maximization problem, this could be your beta or your time discount factor, but we're gonna make it more general and just call it theta. We have some constraint. That constraint is going to be that some other function g of x has to be less than or equal to k. So you can think about it again in the terms of a utility maximization problem. That might be your budget constraint. And now let's assume that we've gone through, we've solved this problem, and we've got some x star that solves this problem, and it's the function of the parameter of the problem. So what does this mean graphically? Well, if I have a graph of the function and x star of theta, so maybe we'll put a little star in here. I know that it's a concave function because that is how I know I can maximize it. So let's do something really simple. Let's just say that it looks maybe something like this. And then right here, right at the top is our max. So here's X star of theta. Now notice that because it's the max, if I zoom in really, really far into this graph, this line is going to look almost straight. So it's going to be you know, something like this. And that is the part of maximizing where we say the derivative is equal to zero at the max. And that is the part we're going to use for the envelope theorem. So all we're saying is that, okay, well, DF at the optimum is equal to zero. And that is going to come up here as we go into the mathematical definition. So all I'm going to do here is take that same problem we just saw, but make it a little more formal, give it some more structure, write down the formal Lagrangian. Now I've got this formal Lagrangian, and now the question comes up, okay, that's really nice, but how does your Lagrangian change as you change the parameter of the problem? Well, we can do a total derivative. So here is the derivative of the Lagrangian at the optimum with respect to theta. This is the total derivative version of that. And now let's use that envelope theorem result that we just saw, where at the optimum, the derivative of the function is equal to zero. Well, here's that same result here. So this is a zero. And here is this same result here, also a zero, which means that the derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to theta is just how our objective function changes as theta changes. Another way to think about this is to say that only direct effects matter. That means that I don't care how this change in theta affects my choice of x. I only care how this choice of theta affects my function f. So if we go back up to this function, we can see that this right here is a direct effect of theta on f. This part in here is indirect because theta affects x star and x star then affects f, which we don't care about. That's why we have the zero. Same thing here, theta affects x star, which then affects g. That is an indirect effect. And we say those don't matter because of the envelope theorem, because of this result right here. So that gets out as well. And we're left with dfd theta. Hopefully this makes the envelope theorem make a little more sense. If it did, make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time for another case of econ struggles.